What's going on guys, it's your man Vapor, and today I'm going to bring you another Shadow Play tutorial. How I use it, when I use it, why I use it, mm, all that. I think why I use it, it's obvious, it's a little bit obvious. So anyways, if you have an NVIDIA card and you're running your games on PC and you download your driver package, it is going to come with GeForce Experience. GeForce Experience looks like this. You also have GeForce Control Panel, and we'll get into that in another video, maybe the part two series of this video. This is GeForce Experience. We have games, drivers, my rig, shield, and preferences. Preferences basically is driver related. Check for updates, uh, what your language is, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Updates automatically download driver updates. Let me choose when to install them or notify me when a you know and so on so on and beta updates get access to geforce software before public release um yes and yes for me because i am an nvidia fan now games it just will scan your computer basically looking for games that are optimizable however out of all my games it does not have black ops one i guess it feels that that is not relevant Drivers, again, check for updates, but if it's automatically checked over here in preferences, you don't have to go looking for drivers. It will automatically have a big pop-up over here at the bottom right of your screen and basically tell you there is a new driver update ready or something has been downloaded or whatever, whatever, whatever. My rig is just an overview of your rig, and then you got uh, LED visualizer, share, game stream, game optimization. We'll get into all those in a second. Game optimization, these are just the specs. These are all specs, 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 specs. LED visualizer, however, is the only thing you can click on in this, in this window here. And as you can see, I have two video cards because it's showing two video cards stacked on top of each other. All LEDs are each individual LED. So I got SLI enabled for my flashing. If you have LED effects on your video cards, then you can use the LED visualizer and you can make them dual flash, flash, breathing, random, electric, flow in, flow out, reverse breathing. Um, doesn't have music though, because I guess it's on SLI. If it wasn't on SLI, I would have a little bit more options. Ripple, audio flashing. So if you're playing music, they will, they will flash to the actual bass of the song and so on reverse breathing however i have sli so i guess i lose a lot of those features anyways that's all that is is led visualizer which is the led the the lighting on the side of your video card if you have one of those video cards then you can do that so moving on shield shield allows you to play games from your computer to your nvidia tablet or your game shield either way so it's like streaming you can stream your game straight from your computer to your tablet straight from your computer to your shield and that's pretty much it about shield preferences again geforce drivers download automatic do it myself leave me alone whatever now the new thing about shadow play and this is an update up here in the top right corner where you see this button that says share that used to say shadow play now it says share when we click on share we get a whole entirely different window a lot of these things are still the same, but somewhat different, and we're going to go over those quickly. Instant replay is the new term for shadow play. So they have changed the name of shadow play into share. It's no longer called shadow play. It is obviously called share. As you can see, it's in beta, but it's still working the same. And I don't mind. I think shadow play has been forever in beta, and I think they do that for safety purposes. I don't know. You can turn it off or save or upload, customize, whatever. I have nothing to save or upload because nothing has been recorded or is recording. Now, what this does, basically, it records in the background. And unless you have a hotkey, which we'll go over right here. Let me close out this window. We go here. Drop down menu on the side. We go to preferences. And over here, we have keyboard shortcuts. So we have, uh, I have mine already preset. Otherwise, they'll all be alt plus whatever. Alt plus F10, Alt plus F9, you get the idea. I got rid of the Alt. I don't need that to hit two keys at the same time during a game. So F10 gives me the uh, Shadow Play feature. These are the keyboard shortcuts. For me, I use F9. When I am about to start a game, I wait for the countdown timer of the actual game itself. 
not when I'm in a lobby, and then I hit F9 three seconds before the game begins, and then I try to remember to hit F9 once the game ends. I also try to remember to hit F9, but I'm pretty much, I'm pretty good at it, but there have been quite a few times when I have forgotten to hit F9 and ran through half a game with a serious, serious, awesome gameplay, and I screwed up, and I did not record it. However, that is what the shadow effect or the share effect. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of confusing, but it's an update. This is what they did. This is what they renamed it to. And this is what it is. Instant replay is now shot or shadow. The shadow feature is now called instant replay. Record is record stream is a stream and broadcast is for Twitch. You can see right here, Twitch login. If I click on that, it will turn off instant replay to use this feature. Okay, you can't you can't record and Twitch and and stream on Twitch at the same time. So we go back to share, we go back to broadcast, Twitch login, I click on it, Kells TV. And then if I type in my password, voila, I'm ready to go. And again with preferences, we have our camera, which would be our webcam. And you can place it wherever you want to place it, four corners, it's your choice, small, medium, large. And you have the display right here to show you how how that might look. Large is quite big. Medium is, I would say, typical. It's a, it's a good, you know. Again, customizing this with overlays and things like that is not going to happen. This is not OBS. Um, it's just going to give you a very basic square webcam look. And small is a little too small, but medium is just about right, I feel. Status indicator. This little icon down here, the top at the bottom right, as you see in the display monitor, is how it will look in real life. And that button right there means that it is recording. It's a little circle with the green dot in the middle. It is recording. When you hit F9, in my case, it will stop recording and there will be nothing in that circle. The circle will still be there just with a like a light with a light gray dot, but there'll be no green dot and then you know, damn, I did I forgot to record. However, again, that is what the instant replay is for. So if we go to instant replay and we hit customize, we have all these these settings. We can we can set it for the last 10 minutes, 5, half a minute, minute, 20 minutes, all the way up to 20 minutes. So basically what this does is if you're in a game, you forgot to record the game, you weren't recording the game and something amazing happened or you had a really kick-ass gameplay, all you got to do in my case is hit F10 and it will reset it will save whatever I set it to, which is 10 minutes, 10, 11, and you can see this this number right here, 10 minutes, 3.8 gigs. As I slide that up, 15.5 minutes, 5 gigs, all the way to 20 minutes, which is 7.5 gigs. Of course, this is customizable, which it was not customizable at all before. You only had low, medium, and high. Now you have the customize feature, and all these low, medium, highs are customizable too. I don't know why, but they are, and it doesn't make sense because then it makes this customize button kind of irrelevant. However, I always use customize and I usually use 1080p, or at least I have been, which maxes out the megabit rate, uh, megabits per second at 50, um, which comes down to 50 million bits per second. And uh, high would be, typically high would be 1080p, 60fps, 50. And I would normally, my custom is normally 1080p, 60, 50. However, I've recently been doing in game 60. Um, about 70 it does make the game files a lot bigger and as I change this megabit rate this megabit um, the size down here you can see it up here changing 10 minutes is 10 gigs at 130 if I bring it down to 50 which would be basic Elgato uh, this would be an Elgato setup right here 1080p 60 frames per second 50 megabits 10 minutes will give you 3.8 gigs so not that bad and of course this is just the more time the bigger the file size obviously and when we change this to say 4k at 130 that's 10 gigs for 10 minutes um 3 gigs for 10 minutes 1080p why that not change 1440 and 1080p is what the same interesting Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to try that out. 
And um, I can't go higher than that, huh? Unless I'm just doing the in-game feature. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to set mine to 60 because it's always been 50. And we're going to leave it at that. And I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to save the last 20 minutes. And the reason I'm going to save the last 20 minutes is because I could go two games in a row and realize, oh shit, I haven't been recording. And then if I hit that F10 key, I'll get that shadow play effect or the share effect or the instant replay, I guess, in this new updated version of what was shadow play. I'll get the last 20 minutes worth of gameplay. Obviously, the max a game could be is 10 minutes. And typically, they never really reach a clock because they always go to score first. So they're usually less than 10 minutes. However, that's that feature, and it's an amazing feature. Record, customize, same thing as the um, the shadow play effect or the... Uh, I don't even know what it's called. The instant replay. Except the difference here is this is manual. This, you just hit a key, it records, you hit the key again, and it stops recording. Again, all the same settings, customize, in-game. I'm going to do 1440p at 50. I want to see what that looks like. And save. Um, stream. This is just setting up your stream for your NVIDIA Shield and tablet as we went over. And we have broadcast. Now, broadcasting to Twitch, okay? And you cannot record um twitch you can't have this see it says off and if we turn this on and then we open it back up and we try to log in to it'll tell you right here turn off instant replay to use this feature which is unfortunate very 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 unfortunate because it would be very nice to be able to record your gameplay and um stream live to twitch at the same time so if we turn that off and we come back and we log in to Twitch and we type in the password and log in, we are now broadcasting to uh, Twitch with the webcam um, and everything else. Okay, so you can set your webcam over here under preferences. Let me go back. This is the main GeForce window. And up here, top right corner, we have now what is the share button, which used to be the shadow play button. When we click down here on the right and we get this menu and we also have connect, which we can connect straight to YouTube now, which is a whole different ball game, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Um, I'll get into that later. I don't need the whole world seeing my, um, my email. So logging in, that's a brand new feature, being able to log in and connect to YouTube and open folders is also another thing it'll bring you straight to the folders where all your gameplay is and just to give you an idea of gameplay this is all the gameplay i have taken from black ops 3 which is going to be a little stuttery because i am recording with fraps at the moment while trying to play out a game at the same time eh, not really going to work so just to give you an idea this is 172 items, which are all averaging 12 minutes, 9 minutes, 12 minutes, 12 minutes, 12 minutes, 6 minutes. There's a 2 minute in there somewhere. But as you can see, I would say the average is what? 10 minutes? 14 minutes. Yeah, so we'll call this 10 minutes. This is 172 videos. 172 and if we look at the properties of them all it is 374 gigs so it's less than a one terabyte drive and a one terabyte drive would cost you about well, 50 to 60 dollars so that is not that bad so these are all features that you could not that were not available before just opening your your game folders exactly where you set your game folders to and we'll go over that in the next video connect we can connect live straight to youtube you just saw that and preferences this is the preference window over here in keyboard shortcuts we have all these presets which come with the alt plus um key so it'll be alt plus f10 f9 f8 7 6 so on so on now you definitely have to set these up accordingly for example i am currently recording with fraps which i have to make this video i have the fraps recording set on f8 in order to record and stop recording 
However, if I set it to F9, I would be turning on shadow play and fraps at the same time, which probably wouldn't work out. This is the main window here. This is just basically your preferences. This is where you save your, your locations. In part two, I'm going to get into the extreme importance of recording your gameplay to a second hard drive and not the hard drive that you are playing on. And I will get into that in depth as well. But for now, this is Shadowplay. This is how it's used. This is the new updated version of Shadowplay. So this is going to be an in-depth series. I don't know how many videos are going to be, but as of right now, I see at least four or five. Um, include rig details and watermark. This is if you were to um, output or share the. This is if you were to output or share your content. There would be a watermark that kind of states that it's your property or your gameplay or something like that. Broadcast pause when switching apps, which is pretty cool. So if I open up Chrome, it's going to pause the stream, which is pretty, pretty cool. So that's a great, great feature. These are all new features. And Shadowplay in and of itself is pretty damn badass. Now, I changed all these to suit my needs. And if I am streaming, F6, toggle camera on and off. Um, pause, pause resume broadcasting, F7, toggle. All I use is F9. And once in a while, the F10 key when I have forgotten to record a game. But for the most part, I am just manually record. I like to manually start the start the game, start recording at the beginning of a game, and stop recording at the end of a game. This is your man Vapor. This has been an in-depth review of Shadowplay, the new version of what's now called Share. Shadowplay is dead, and it's been replaced with Share. And part two is coming up. Stay tuned, and as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.